now on video and DVD. The adventures continue. First, it's the mystery of the missing sea berries. Oh no, they're gone! And only one very special person can save the day. <gasps> A mermaid! Strawberry Shortcake is back in Seaberry Beach Party. Then the game is on in Play Day Surprise. And everyone's a winner if you play hard, play fair, and most importantly, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to have fun. Don't you want to join us? Now you can bring home your very special friend in Seaberry Beach Party and Play Day Surprise, along with these other strawberry shortcake favorites. Collect them all, available on video and DVD. Get ready for the ride of a lifetime in the Roach Approach Don't Miss the Boat. It's the first in an all-new animated adventure series for the entire family. Join the Roach family as they live out classic Bible stories, including an epic journey on Noah's Ark. It's one exciting adventure after another. Don't miss the fun. Get the Roach Approach Don't Miss the Boat. Now on DVD and also new to DVD, the main event. The entire world of Garfield, now on DVD. I'll never figure that cat out. Between eating and sleeping, America's coolest cat is hanging out at home. <laughs> celebrating the holidays. I've opted to watch my waistline this holiday season. Huh? Traveling the world. Surviving his fantasies. If things get too hairy, John is always around to get us out of this fantasy. Or just hanging out with friends. Garfield, it's lunchtime. Now, where'd he go? You can bring home America's Fat Cat in all your favorite cartoons. Now available on DVD. seconds to go. No one's ever made it past five minutes. He's probably in there taking a nap. Hey, give me some more seats. I just gave you a whole handful. I ate them. What was that? Time. He just told us. I'm not waiting out here a whole hour. Hey, what are you doing? You can't let him out? Let's admit it, Doug's not scared. No, no, no! Doug has to stay in there for the whole hour. If he makes it, then he's in. I hope he doesn't make it. I don't even like him. Neither do I. Well, I don't either. But if he makes it, we're stuck with him. I just want to look inside, see what he's doing. Wait, 
It touched me. It touched my face. <laughs> Oh, I knew he wouldn't make it. They never do. Good thing. Could you imagine if we had to let him into Danger Incorporated? Why do we have to let anybody in? Because we only have three members. Yeah, but there were only three Stooges. But that wasn't a corporation. A corporation should have a lot of members. I guess we have to look for another victim. Someone cool. And brave. Someone who won't freak out in an empty old house. Isn't there one brave kid in this stupid town? Besides us, of course. It touched my face. What do you think he meant? Oh, he probably just walked into a cobweb or something. What a chicken. <gasps> hey, where's my money? I had five dollars right here. Maybe it fell out when we were shoving Doug into the house. Yeah, it's probably up on the porch. I had to work hard to get that five bucks. Why don't you guys help me look for it? Oh, just go get it. Yeah, don't be a baby. Oh, great. Would you hurry up? I'm coming! Let's get out of here. Don't you want to explore it? Not really. <laughs> sure you do. Who knows? You might even meet some new friends here. Come on, just take a walk. And when you get back, I'll make you some lunch. Why don't you just drive me around? Chris. Will you make me a cheeseburger when I get back? OK. With bacon? Oh, always making deals. Come on, Mom, with bacon. OK, with bacon. Now go on. All right, see you, Mom. Hi. Hey, check it out. He's that new kid. Yeah, he probably doesn't have any friends. No friends. The perfect candidate for Danger Incorporated. I don't know. He doesn't look very brave. If you're in Danger Incorporated, you have to be brave. True. But if he's not, it'll sure be fun scaring him. Hey, your name's Chris, right? Yeah, Chris Wakely. I'm Lori, and this is Nathan and Robbie. Hi. Listen, you're new in town, right? Yeah, just moved in last week. So you're probably looking for some new friends, someone to hang out with. Sure, that'd be great. Do you want to join our organization? Danger Incorporated. We have room for one more member. Danger Incorporated. What is it? It's a club for brave people. Oh, well, I'm not very brave. You like horror movies, don't you? No, actually, I cover my eyes during the scary parts. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to be that brave. You just have to do one thing. What's that? Just one hour. If you can make it for one hour, you're in. They call it the house of no return. Why? Years ago, a young couple moved into town. A beautiful young woman and her husband. He built this house for her, their dream house, a place to raise their child. But he made a mistake in the construction of the house. Their child broke through a weak spot in the floor. And fell to her death. The couple were so sad. They slowly went mad. Days, weeks, Months went by, and the couple never came outside. One day, the police came. They entered the house. The couple were dead. Their bodies were taken away, and the house was sealed up. Days later, children from the neighborhood started to disappear. Some say they were kidnapped. Others say the ghosts of the couple took them. But it's probably just an empty old house. So go on in, Chris, and then you can be our new member. I don't think so. Come on, we'll be right out here. Have you done it? Uh, done what? Stayed in there for one hour. Well, no, 
But, but uh, well, we don't have to. You see, because uh, we started the organization. We already know we like danger. It's our middle name. Come on, man. We think you're a real cool guy. We want you in our club, huh, Robbie? You the man, Chris. That's great, but I don't think so. I'll see you guys later. Danger Incorporated is now in session. Is there any new business? You mean there's no new business? This is the most boring meeting I've been in. What are you talking about? They're all boring. Oh, we need a new member. <laughs> we haven't had a new member since you started this stupid organization. You know, that Chris has a lot of nerve turning us down. Yeah. He is kind of stuck up, isn't he? Yeah, new kid. I'm a chicken, la di da <laughs> Maybe we should teach him a lesson. Yeah. Lesson number one, how to be brave. Hello? Increasing cloudiness Yes, hold on, please. Chris? For me? <laughs> Someone named Robbie. It's currently seven people. In sports, the International Hello? Yeah, sure, that'd be great. All right, I'll see you there. Okay, bye. Robbie? Yeah, it's this kid I met down the street. He's got two friends, Lori and Nathan. They want me to go hang out with him at the mall. Well, I'm glad you're making some new friends already. Yeah, <laughs> maybe this place isn't as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> you see? I told you. All right, I'm gonna walk over to Robbie's. Chris? Yeah, well. They're nice kids. Yeah, they're all right. I don't think they're too smart, but they're okay. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Yeah. So is this a cool mall? Yeah, it's cool, all right. This way. This must be a shortcut, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> You sure this is the way to the mall? Listen to this new kid in town, he's telling us. Really? Let's cross the street, all right? Why? That place freaks me out. Now! <laughs> I know, but... Come on, open up, please. 55 more minutes, and then we'll let you out. <laughs> and then you'll be a member of Danger Incorporated. Guys. All right, Chris. Calm down. Old houses make noises, that's just what old houses do. Do you think he's okay? Hmm. Hello? Is that 
anybody there? Hello? I'm just gonna stand here against this wall. That way nothing can sneak up on me. I'm just gonna stand here. I think he gave up. He already stayed in there longer than anyone ever did. I guess he's going to be our new member. Hey, Chris has got a long time to go, all right? A long time. 45 more minutes. I just wanted to make sure you were awake. Real funny. What time is it anyway? Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's go get them. All right, Chris, you made it. You're now a member of Danger Incorporated. Hey, Chris, open up. What's he doing? I don't know. Chris! Open up! What should we do? Break the door down. Ready? On three. One, two, three. <clears throat> Again. One, two, three. <clears throat> hey, check this out. Why would Chris board up the door? Maybe he didn't. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Chris? Chris! Man, this is getting weird. He's probably playing a trick on us. Chris? Yo, Chris! Well, he's probably just hiding. He's probably behind that bookcase over there. He could have moved that by himself. Yeah. Hey, how about in there? Why don't you go check it out? Uh, alone? I'll go with you. Wait, wait, I'll come too. Well, he's not in here. If he's playing a trick on us. You mean like the one we played on him? Huh? Come on, come on, let's keep looking. Chris! 
this. Come on now, this isn't funny anymore. You got us good, Chris. Now come on. Uh, Robbie. What? What is it? That is too weird. What? Chris probably did that while we were in the other room. I don't think so. Hello? Who said that? I did. Chris? Is that you? That won't do you any good. We're, We're coming, coming down. down. Did we? Oh no, we wanted him to stay. We love children. But he made a deal with us. A deal? What kind of a deal? A very good deal. A real bargain, oh yes. C can we make a deal? Oh, you could never make the kind of deal he made. Very pleasing to my wife. <gasps> what kind of a bar bargain was it? He promised that if we let him go, Three children would take his place. Three for one train. Three children. And you know how much we love children. Now we have three more. He promised you come, and here you are, right on schedule. What are you gonna do to us? Uh, are you gonna let us go? Let you go? We can't let you go. We're a family now. We love you. And we're going to love you. Forever! First? It's been empty for years. Now, come on. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Nadine? 
Is that you? Let's go. Wait a sec. The Mansion of Terror game? Hey, it looks like this house. Hey, turn that over. It's settling inside the lid. Rules of play. Rule number one. Don't open the box. Why wouldn't they want us to open the box? stupid game. I, I just, I just want to go home. Jonathan, look. Rule number one, don't open the box. Too late for that. Play as a team. Roll the dice, move a square, take an action card. The object of round one is to collect keys for round two. The only way out is in. What's that supposed to mean? The only way out is in. I think it means if we want to get out of here, we have to get back to the house. The only way to do that is play the game. That's stupid. I'm not playing any game. Wait! There's one more. Roll the seven. Go to heaven. Heaven? heaven? <sighs> What's happening? I told you! I think it wants us to play! You don't know that for sure? It's a safe bet. Are you gonna play or what? I don't have any choice. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Pay your last respects. Now what? Ah! Oh man, this is getting worse by the second. Here, hold these. Who's this guy? I don't know. This must be the action card. Find the finder and take it if you dare. But watch out. You might be in for a scare. I'm touching him. I'll get it. Uh, Nadine! I could. 
couldn't help it. It, I quit. Jonathan, we have to keep playing. Look, I said I quit. I'll find my own way out of here. I'm not going through that again. <laughs> uh, what's up with this? Remember what the game said? We have to play as a team. Come on, we'll get out of this. But we have to help each other. Put this in your bag. This is a bad idea. Three. of this place. Where are we? Grab some R and R. You check over there. I'll check over here. Grab some R and R. Nadine, look at the size of this thing. You can catch a whale with this. now. Rod and reel. R and R means rod and reel. Uh, come on, let's get out of here. over with. One, two, three. Four. Rest in peace. We're dead. Here, it's your turn next. Make sure you keep them with you at all times. Me. This is your turn. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Do you have something for me? Yes, my dear. I do. <laughs> Come closer.
okay? Yeah, I think so. The dice. Where's the dice? Jonathan, look! Advance to go back. It's about time. All we have to do is, is step in and, and step back out. Jonathan, are you there? I can't see anything. It's okay. I got an idea. Hold on a second. We can see now. What was that? I didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> screaming. Man, we're glad to see you guys. Who are you? I'm Noah, and this is Annie. Nadine and Jonathan. We tried yelling to you when you're on the board, but. You couldn't hear us. Well, what are you doing in here? We can't find our way out. Where are we? The basement. The basement? We just came through the front door. How can we be in the basement? This house is like a puzzle. We've been trying to figure it out for years. Years? Yeah, but the one thing we know for sure is that the only way out is through the front door. But the hard part is finding the front door. Now we have a chance to go with you if you can find your way out. How many keys did you guys get? Keys? Yeah, you know the things you collected in round one? They open the doors in round two so you can make your way through the house. So that's what they're for. Give me the bag. We didn't get many. We don't even know if we have the right ones. Well, there's only one way to find out. Uh, hey, uh, wait a second. Maybe we could bust out the window. That's a great idea. Why didn't you think of that? I thought the only way out was through the front door. That's if you play by the rules. Noah's cheating. Hey, you guys want to get out of here or not? Little cheating never hurt anyone. Okay. There's bars on the window. We'll never get out. Try that one. Him. We gotta find him! Look! Give me the bag! How are any of these supposed to open the door? You just kinda have to figure it out. We're trapped. Check this out. To reverse the effect, use the un. Y yes, before it was just a locket. Now it's an unlocket. Come on! This 
is it. It's getting hot. <gasps> Noah! <laughs> what happened to you? I don't know. All I remember is being pulled through the clothes and then suddenly I'm walking through the halls. Look! The stairs! Come on, we're almost out of this. <laughs> We'll go get it for you. But what if you can't find it? Don't worry, we'll find it. Wait here, we'll be right back. Now on video and DVD. The adventures continue. First, it's the mystery of the missing sea berries. Oh no, they're gone! And only one very special person can save the day. <gasps> A mermaid! 
Strawberry Shortcake is back in Seabury Beach Party. Then the game is on in Play Day Surprise. And everyone's a winner if you play hard, play fair, and most importantly, you don't have to be perfect. You just have to have fun. Don't you want to join us? Now you can bring home your very special friend in Seabury Beach Party and Play Day Surprise, along with these other Strawberry Shortcake favorites. Collect them all. Available on video and DVD. Get ready for the ride of a lifetime in the Roach Approach Don't Miss the Boat. It's the first in an all-new animated adventure series for the entire family. Join the Roach family as they live out classic Bible stories, including an epic journey on Noah's Ark. It's one exciting adventure after another. Don't miss the fun. Get the Roach Approach Don't Miss the Boat. Now on DVD and also new to DVD, the main event. The entire world of Garfield, now on DVD. I'll never figure that cat out. Between eating and sleeping, America's coolest cat is hanging out at home. <laughs> celebrating the holidays. I have opted to watch my waistline this holiday season. Huh? Traveling the world. Surviving his fantasies. If things get too hairy, John is always around to get us out of this fantasy. Or just hanging out with friends. Garfield, it's lunchtime. Now, where'd he go? You can bring home America's Fat Cat in all your favorite cartoons. Now available on DVD. This is a Cal Ripken rookie card. It's worth a fortune. What's the big deal? Who's gonna notice? Jessica Walters, quick! Ah, uh, hey, Jessica. Hey, Matthew. Selling any good cards today? Uh, nope. We already sold all the cards. Yeah. Sold them all, huh? That is too bad. But you know, Matthew, I am in the market for some new furniture, and well, what about that one? this would go great in my room. Uh, that's How much for the desk? The desk isn't for sale. Good morning, Jessica. Uh, good morning, Mrs. Erickson. So, you're sure you don't want to sell this desk? Of course we're selling the desk. Oh. oh. Make an offer. Let's see. Um, how about 20? Okay, fine, you win. But no deals. These cards are in mint condition. That's great. How much are these books, Sarah? Mmm, straight.
Strawberry. My favorite flavor. I'll give you two dollars for it. Two dollars? This card is in mint condition. This card is a collectible. Two dollars, not a penny more. But you only paid Bobby Staley a buck for it. Todd! Fine. Two dollars. Uh, do you have change for a 20? No. Oh, well, <laughs> the only other bill I have is, uh, well, it's just a one. Fine, just take it and get out of here. I need money. Can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, sure. Well, um, well, Mom and Dad's anniversary is next week, and I found them a, a great picture frame, sterling silver. Oh, Mom loves pictures. Yeah, it's the perfect gift. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, it would be, if I could afford it. Look, I, I just need to borrow some money. I'll pay you back. Sam, with what? I have told you a million times. Yeah, I know, I know. I've got to start saving my money. You waste it on games and candy and toys. For what? Well, how about for fun? Look, Jess, I don't want to sit around all day counting money like you do. So I guess that's a no? Of course not. Hmm? I never give up a good business opportunity when I see one. Let's see, today's prime rate closed at 6%. So I will loan you the money at three points over prime. That is 9%. Forget it. I'll make him a keychain. Jessica, before you sit back to contemplate your financial empire, I need you to sweep out the attic. Mom, I don't want to spend my whole afternoon in some creepy old attic. But if you don't do it, Sam gets your allowance for the week. Well, that's not fair. Hello? Mom, it's Jessica. Can you come up here? <laughs> Are you okay? What is it? Over here. I want to show you something. It's some kind of miniature town. Wow, this is really something. I wonder who left it here. Probably the previous owners. Can I have it? Sure. Looks like fun. Fun? It's a collector's edition. It could be worth something. I'll sell it and make some money. You can keep the model town, but don't sell it. I want you to share it with your brother. <sighs> she just has no business sense. Jessica Walter speaking. That's weird. Big opportunities. You 
you like a good business opportunity, don't you, Jessica? How did you know my name? Names aren't important. Opportunities are. And an opportunity awaits you. Step outside and look for it. spoke earlier? Earlier? On the phone. Carl. I know who you are. I, I just don't know who you are. Ah. Uh, I'm a businessman. I own this place. What place? Carlsville. It's my town. And I'm looking for a partner. Someone who understands a good business opportunity. Someone who likes to make money. I thought that someone might be Look, I don't even know how I got here. Oh, who knows how they end up where they do. Is that a no? What kind of opportunity? The beverage business. Beverage? You're gonna love it. Selling lemonade. Uh, lemonade. Uh, I'm looking for serious business opportunities here. I'm not selling lemonade. Carlsville has many opportunities. We'll start small, see how you do, and grow from there. Besides, this isn't just any lemonade. You got evaded the shade with Carl's lemonade. Yeah. It's my own special blend. People can't resist it. <laughs> You'll make a fortune. Deal. I get 50%? Ouch. You drive a hard car. Deal. Deal. Great. I want you to meet our employee, Nikki. Nikki, I want you to meet my new business partner, Jessica. Jessica. Walters. Whatever. She's in charge. She knows business. She knows what to do. Knows how to make a buck. You listen to her. Do whatever she says. Let's see if we have everything we need. Nikki, Jean, don't raise prices. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be accused of unfair business practices in my own town. And I can't be responsible for what happens to greedy little pigs. Yes. Good luck. Hmm. Time to turn up the heat. how good this stuff really is. Watch, listen, and learn. Good afternoon. Oh, hello there. Oh, what a lovely baby. Oh, thank you. Lemonade. Oh, I feel all right. It's warming up a bit, isn't it? Yes, this will cool you right down. Well, thank you. <laughs> Well, that is the best lemonade I've ever had. How much do I owe you? One dollar. Well, that's all. Well, give me two more then. Hmm. Well, thank you. Good day. Good day, girls. A little something to wet the whistle, if I might. Boy, it's a hot Don't one today. Up. Just halfway. Here you are, sir. Refreshing. How much? One dollar. That would be a bargain at twice the price. Twice, twice the, the price. price. Twice the price. 
Good day, Kilman. It's a scorcher, isn't it? Give me a lemonade. What's the damage? One dollar. Two dollars. Two dollars? Two dollars doesn't seem like enough for such a delightful lemon beverage. You could charge a fortune. 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 Thank you. I don't think that was such a good idea. You heard what Carl said, and you heard the customers. It's called supply and demand. They like the supply, and we demand more money. You pour, I'll price. Now what are you doing? I'm increasing our inventory. That's cheating. It's not cheating. It's business. Oh, my God. 
number is no longer in service. Jessica! You said you needed money for mom's present, right? Well, well, yeah, but... I'll give you $50 for it. 50 bucks? Oh, deal! 50 bucks! All right, 50 bucks! This town ain't big enough for the both of us. Hey, look at this. Wow, why would anyone throw this away? Hey, grab the other end. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. No more Mr. Nice Guy. <laughs> I bet you're gonna get to play today. Yeah, right. Matthew Erickson's up at bat. Bottom of the ninth. Two on, two out. Erickson steps to the plate. Pitcher winds up, and it's a long fly ball. This one has a chance. It's going. It's going. It's gone! The Tigers win the championship! The crowd is going wild! Woo! Uh, yeah, sure. Wait! 
Erickson hasn't played. He's still on the bench. The rules clearly state all boys must get into at least one game each season. Come on. It's not just about winning. Our job is to provide an opportunity for all the boys. What? This is a community league. Let the kid play. If I do that, we lose. If you don't, you forfeit the game. Play ball. Evans, sit down. Run the star. Now! Erickson! Grab a bat. You're up. Me? What? You're in the game. Let's go. Hey, come on, man. You can do it. And Erickson, do me a favor. Close your eyes. Maybe you'll get lucky. You just never get to. Strike! Oh. Come on, Matt, you can do it! Come on, big hit, Matt! Okay? junk mail away and finish your dinner. It's not junk. Thousands of people enter these contests. Somebody's got to win. One day it'll be me. May I have your excuse, please? Try and eat something. But I'm not hungry. Yeah, go ahead. Proud of you. For what? For trying. Oh, look, Matthew, I know you're disappointed, but you got in there. Right. Look, your uh, mom's rented a video. Why don't you come downstairs? No, I think I'm just going to stay here. You know, Matthew, there are a lot of things that you are good at. Baseball's not the most important thing in the world. Carlsville League. It 
a whole new ball game. You can make it. We're about ready to play ball. You ready? Me? You're dressed for it. But I was just standing in my room. Looking at this miniature field. That's why they call it Little League. So you on my team or what? Team? Where am I? Carlsville. Home of the Carlsville Crunches. Tonight's the big game. Everyone's come out to watch. I don't see anybody. Believe me, they're here. I need a batter. And you run! I'm starting? Of course! You're the star. You're the man. You're the franchise, baby! I never start. I mean, I don't even have a glove. You don't need a glove. In Carlsville, it's a whole new ball game. Better run! Night for a game. The fans around the player is ready. It's game time. The first. Our national anthem. Carlsville, Carlsville, though you may be small. Carlsville, Carlsville, we especially Catch me every time. You're in the game, kid. The fans are waiting. And remember, the object of the game is to get home. I know how to play. We'll see. Play ball! Well, where are the other players? Don't worry about them. Worry about yourself. Well, how am I supposed to hit without a... All you gotta do is get home. Now take a lead! Eric takes it cautiously. And I can't say I blame him. Don't get picked off! Ah! 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 What? 
You're safe for now. <laughs> Why don't you just let me go home? Sure. It's only 90 feet away. You think you can steal it? Watch my signs. You prefer the squeeze play or the sacrifice? What kind of baseball game is it with only one player? An entertaining baseball game. I'm sorry. You want some more players? And the third base, Herm. The square is Bellello. <laughs> and now, catching for the Carlsville Crunchers, Herm of the Abdomen. <laughs> He's in trouble. Yeah. 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 No choice. 
He's gonna have to fly to his feet. Jessica Walters came by to see you, Matthew. Yeah. Have fun. What do you want? Listen, I've come by to talk about these baseball cards. I... <gasps> what is that doing here? Then it wasn't a dream. You got sucked in, too? Yes, and it was horrible, and, and I almost didn't make it back. We've got to destroy this thing right away. Hey, no kidding. Hey, my dad's got a hammer and tools in the garage. Let's do it. Wow! Todd Erickson, you're our grand prize winner. Send this to Carlsville to claim your prize? Where's Carlsville? Special delivery! We have a winner! Erickson. Yes. You're our grand prize winner. How do you feel about being our grand prize winner? Uh, pretty good, I guess. Where am I? You're in Carlsville, my boy. And this is your day. So! Come on in. Congratulations. Thanks. And let's hit the show on the road.
sorry I'm listening. Hey! Look at this. And that's Carl. Todd! Hey, look. This sign said population 100 a minute ago. Todd! He's got Todd! What if he can't get out? How am I gonna explain this to my parents? Your son got shrunk down to the size of a peanut? He's stuck in this toy town? May, May I, present I present our, our grand, grand prize winner, Todd Erickson. <laughs> Go ahead, Todd. Thank, Thank you. you. I've, I've never, never really, really given a speech before, before but, but I'm glad I'm the grand prize, prize winner, winner, and I just I hope I get home in time for dinner. dinner. Well, then you know what we've got to do. Go back in there. To Carlsville, are you nuts? We have to, Jessica. It's my little brother in there. I'd like to introduce you to the president of Carl Co. Enterprises. <sighs> Mr. President. Thank you, Carl. Hey, what if we go in and then we can't get back out? What else are we supposed to do? Todd, follow me inside, and I'll personally present you with your prize. see your prize, you won't even be thinking about dinner. Thank you, here. But even if we did want to get into the town, I mean, how would we do it? What's going on? Oh, we have to get you ready for citizenship. Citizenship? Didn't I tell you? That's the grand prize. You're going to become a citizen of Carlsville. That's it? That's it? Why, it's an honor. Do you know the expense of organizing a parade, hiring the band? The posters. Some people are so hungry. Well, gosh, I didn't mean to be ungrateful. Unveil the Plasto Blaster. What's a plasto blaster? I'll show you. How did you get in? The telephone? Try it. That's how it is in Carlsville.
Jessica? Jessica! Strap him down! There's nothing. For a second, I thought you weren't coming. Now all we have to do is find my brother. Where is everybody? Help! Help! What's all this stuff? It's confetti. Grand prize winner. Todd always wanted to be a winner. I just wonder what he won. Ah! Do you have anything to say before becoming a permanent citizen of Carlsville? Help! Sure. But succeed. Find your brother. Don't worry, we will. We just have to keep following the trail of confetti. Maybe Todd's not as big a sucker as you think. I mean, we both got away from Carl. Maybe he did too. You obviously don't know my brother. No. Oh, darn. How could I forget? He didn't choose his color. <laughs> <laughs> a number of bright decorator colors. Blue, red, green. Why can't you just let me go? Yellow. Carco Enterprises. Oh, this guy's so full of himself. It will go with the color of your eyes. <laughs> hey, let's go in here. You know, we may never get out of here. I know. Come on. Listen to me. My father's very rich. He'll pay you a fortune if you let me go. I don't want money. I want power. In Carlsville, I'm king. King Carl of Carlsville. It's got a nice ring to it, don't you think? <laughs> but why do you want to turn me into plastic? It's a hobby. Everyone needs a hobby. My hobby is to get kids under my power. It passes the time. going to turn you plastic now and forever tiny. Does that scare you? Yes. It should. Poor Todd. Come on, we've got to help him. <laughs> Get ready. We've got to stop this thing. Get set. There is 
one other thing. Meet me back here. Did I tell you this won't hurt? No. Good. Because it does. Stop it! <laughs> Help! Dream all you want, my young boy. Help! It's music to my Help! ears. <laughs> in Todd's room. They're uh, playing with that miniature toy town, I believe. Oh, good. It is so charming. Why can't they have more wholesome toys like that for kids? Ah, uh, beats me. There it is! What? Need to make a call? Hold on. Maybe we touch on plate. I can't run anymore. You have to! Come on! <laughs> There's nowhere else to go, my young friends. Carlsville is your home. What is that annoying racket? Now I'm in a bad mood. Chain them up.
that all of it? All but the king of Carlsville. But how do we know if that's Carl? It looks like his clothes. Plus, we checked every inch of that room. Just wish that we could be sure. Look. You see there? That's Carl's head. Yeah, it, it's got to be. Are you sure? It better be. Next time, pick on someone your own size.